All right, all right, we are live. Hello and welcome in, everybody. It is Season 11, Week 12 game day here. Let me know if you can hear me, and if you're ready for a fantastic game day, we've got Virginia, Coach Moon, and we've got Georgia Tech, and Coach Mike, and the uh, triple option. Um, let me know if you can hear me, as always, and uh, this is going to be a fun one, but if you haven't heard of the SFA before, it is an online dynasty ran entirely through Discord. You can recruit, you can set your depth charts, your playbooks, your schemes, play fantasy football, all sorts of different jazz. It's a great time if you do want to join. Um, you don't need the game. Just hit the link in any of our descriptions. As always, if you are watching live, we are affiliated, so there are ads. So if you want to drop a Twitch Prime, greatly appreciated. Uh, you will get to fund um, the National Championship Trophy that I'll send to whatever user wins it. Um, but yeah, uh, we are here, baby. Triple option game day is right. And it's a special Cinco de Mayo game day. Uh, we've got uh, SFA Cinco de Mayo. Hopefully you guys are drinking well. I will not, but we got a couple great sponsors tonight. Uh, we got Got Latina Juice, the number one drink of all things Latina. Um, also, remember, recruiting is directly after uh, committee rankings, which are right after this game. So we got three, four stars uh, being released tonight. That's going to be a lot of fun. And we have a special edition top left ticker. Um emblem logo however you want to say it uh designed by coach moon himself so thank you for that um so yeah let me get this ad out of the way and we'll get right into rosters um starting with virginia we saw him a couple of weeks ago uh choked the shit out of that game against uh syracuse uh if you want to go back and watch that game day it was a fantastic time but this time they'll have starter back jacob rodriguez 94 overall 83 speed 90 acceleration 99 uh decent year here he did miss a few weeks if he does get hurt we know you can trust daniel daly um at running back jonathan matthews he had a really good game last time we saw him unfortunately he just couldn't find his way into the end zone uh he is a low overall though so we'll see what he does joshua wilson number one jj irons david fields Gary Jackson and Sledge, really not high overalls. It's um, crazy how high Virginia is playing right now considering the strength of this team. Um, offensive line, all mid-low 80s, uh, high 70s here. Nothing too terrible anywhere on that line. I, but they are really good at rushing the passer. You got Bryce Carter on one end and Gabriel Crooks on the other. And in the middle, you got Eric Ter Taylor and their only SFA player, Seven Cloud. At linebacker, James Jackson, Mike Green, Josh McCarron, uh, low 80s there. And now they actually, I believe, have um, some decent corner depth here. 85, Damon Clark, Eric Hood. Sledge is hurt. So you got uh, Lawson and Porter. And then in the back end, Bo Wright, he is pretty fast, but he isn't that high of an overall. Same thing with Lawrence Hawkins. So having speed on the back end definitely does help. And then we also got a 75 overall kicker. Let's see how good he is. 71 kick power, 79 accuracy. So we'll see if that comes into play. And who is he facing? One of the weirdest teams in the SFA. You never know what team is going to show up. As you got the Georgia Tech Yellow Jackets. Triple option led by Marco Schroeder. Obviously Joe Webb got benched and redshirted. 78 speed he is having a decent year through the air as well 12 pass tds five interceptions nothing crazy and then they are going to be running the triple option so kenneth williams is number one you will will see nick greenwood as well and then dante lesser the sfa player will actually start at fullback because todd wards is hurt for this game at wide receiver leo blackburn we've seen a lot of him over the years and SFA player DJ St. Julian's, as well as the five-star John McIntyre. Tight end Brett, well, Brent Lowry. I'm not sure how much we'll be seeing of him. And then let's check out. They got Ja'Kai Leftwich. Fred Burtz is unfortunately hurt, the other SFA player. But you got Fox Crater back. He was hurt earlier in the season. Uh, John Burrell is, back, or is there and Victor Stevens. So you got to give the advantage to Georgia Tech here on the offensive line. On the defensive line, though, Georgia Tech may still take the cake. You got Josh Robinson on one end, the Bear Cave reward from last or from a few seasons ago, Chandler Jones, 90 overall. 
and then the IRL Bear Cave reward player, or no, it was the reward player last season, I believe. You got Dictator here in the middle, Preston Myers behind him, and you got um, Zeke Biggers here as well. Left outside linebacker, you got Godfrey in the middle. You got McIntyre, Reggie Givens. Now, this is the manage roster screen. Mike does crazy things with his depth chart. So some of these guys, you may be starting somewhere else than where they're listed. Um, I don't remember exactly where, but uh, Reggie Givens is an SFA player. I think he might be at safety. I don't remember. But Nickel Boone as well, SFA player, the number one cornerback. You will also see Alfonso Sampson, SFA cornerback. Uh, lots of SFA players here. And Dante Bruton, he's the guy starting, so he is up there, uh, SFA player. Chris Carter is on the other side. Low speed, though, so watch out for that strong safety. And then at kicker, let's take a look here, see how he's doing. Okay, so advantage goes to Virginia in the kicking game. All right, but enough of rosters. Let's get into game day. I did forget to change the uh, time, so give me a second here. We got to go to our nine minutes. Okay, Givens is the R-O-L-B. It is game day time, boys and girls. And while I get the uh, first, let me get my um, thumbnail. But if you guys want to decide on your um, jerseys while well, I also get the prediction going, I'm more than happy. All right, so that's done. And then let's get this prediction going. So on paper, you got to pick Georgia Tech, but based on season performance, you kind of got to go Virginia. Who wins? All right, you guys are going to have two minutes. Get your Bobinos out. Two minutes here. Get those Bobinos going. Let's get a lot of money on. Yay, Wild Wind. Thank you for subscribing. Big win today over the SEC. You'll love to see that. Hopefully, um, more fields back soon, and you can make a bowl game. Blue versus orange. Some kind of white jersey. Okay, so my, obviously Mike gets priority. You can sh suck it, dog water. <laughs> so he said some sort of white. Um, I like these. Let's see what helmet. You, you guys want to go your white helmet or your black? Uh, he said white, so why don't we just do the white? I like these for you guys. And then Virginia... Since he is going white, we can go crazy with them. Let's go the throwbacks for them this time. Um, last time we did the... Uh... Let's go all navy with the throwback helmets versus the all white. Um, all right, so let's wait for these predictions... Here. My official prediction is I think that this entire game comes down to those two ends for Virginia. They lead the country in sacks or they're in like the top 10, but it's all going to come down if they can contain the quarterback and limit the pitches. If they can get Schroeder down before he pitches it, then this game's over. Virginia's going to win, may even be a blowout. But if Marco has the time... Oh my god, do so many people go in Georgia Tech here? 23k. Yeah, somebody going with Virginia might be big baller. And that's crazy. Number 18, 7 and 2. They played a really good game day against Syracuse. Like they played really well against Syracuse. Alright, so let's hop into it, boys. SFA game day on Cinco de Mayo. Get your Latina juice out. Let me know what you're drinking. I'm drinking a nice Gatorade, uh, cool blue, so nothing too crazy. I got to go to work at 4 in the morning tomorrow, so. Um. Oh, my God, yes. No rain. Four was the answer for a reverse sheep um, prediction. I 
predicted it right. Hopefully, I just uh, ace that one, get myself back into the reverse sheep game. Let's go. But as we look at the stats, honestly, pretty uh, close between these teams. Obviously, Georgia Tech, they did have that big upset over uh, Clemson earlier in the year. Virginia's had a couple of crazy good wins. Yeah, rare reverse sheep W for myself. It, on that one, who knows how the other games went. Oh, the Model A coming out. Buzz the Yellow Jacket. Schroeder. So we're going to see Dante Lesser at fullback. I'm really interested to see how he plays because he has like zero blocking ability. So the game thinks he's a bad overall. But we'll see how he plays in that um, A back. I think that's what it's called. Might correct me. Ooh, I've never actually. I don't think I've ever been in the stadium at night. I like the. Uh, I like how they do that. That's a really nice look on that side. Bobby Dodd Stadium. All right, Virginia. They do win the toss, and they're going to receive. All right, so they want the ball. They want to hit Georgia Tech in the mouth. They don't want to let them establish. Um, anything here. So Virginia's going to start us out here. A big pancake. A broken tackle here. So this is our first time seeing uh, Rodriguez, the quarterback, on game day. Obviously last time it was daily and they played pretty well. So we'll see how he translates as Jonathan Matthews gets his first handoff. He played really well up until the, like the last three minutes of that uh, game against Syracuse. Nice little five-yard gain to open it up. So many uh, SFA players on the line, but the biggest to watch, right in the middle, Dick Tater, and then to the right of him is Chandler Jones. And clean pocket there, and he delivers a strike to J.J. Irons. Watch out um, at linebacker, Reggie Givens. And then you got on the outside, Nickel Boone, Alfonso Sampson, and Dante Bruton at safety. So a stacked SFA lineup here for Georgia Tech. Not so stacked for Virginia. Yeah, I really like the way this uh, helmet looks for Virginia. As we get another handoff to the outside. They come down quickly, though. Chris Carter on the tackle. I think that was the linebacker. All right, second and 10 here out of the pistol. Ooh, Jonathan Matthews cuts up the middle there. He did not follow the blockers to the uh, to the power um, with the pulling guards. He cut right up inside, found a hole, third and inches. Rodriguez. And he's going to dump that off. Fourth down. Oh, boy. Decision time here for Virginia on drive number one. And they are going for it. Fourth and inches. What is the call? They're going to throw it. It's a screen pass. Matthews. And he drops the ball as he's hit. Turnover on downs. The defense comes up clutch. Big opening drive there for Georgia. Once again, Virginia having trouble converting in Pless territory. Schroeder under center here. First handoff to Dante Lesser, and he goes crazy up the middle for 10. Dante Lesser, normally the third running back. Getting playing time at A back for Todd Wards, who's hurt with turf toe. They give it to him again. A wide open hole. So Georgia Tech is just gashing him up the middle right now. Two rushes, 27 yards. We don't even need to see the triple option. They only need one option. Stuff it right down v Virginia's throat. Be back. All right. I don't know if Dante is big, but they hand it to him again. And another 10-yard rush. Averaging over 10 yards a carry now. 
just hand it off to Lesser all game. God damn. So these ends are uh, containing the quarterback all right, but they're forgetting about the fullback. And Shrouder now just takes it himself. He didn't even give the fullback a chance there. Interesting play design. And Georgia Tech is moving it uh, pretty much at will here to start. All right, a traditional quick option. He does get it out wide. A ton of room. Touchdown, Georgia Tech. Dante Lesser takes an early 7-0 lead. Dante Lesser coming in, filling in at fullback. Absolutely putting on a clinic on that opening drive. This is not looking good if you are a Virginia fan. Just zero sign of any ability to stop the run. Looking like the Season 10 Citrus Bowl. Duke with a massive win this week. Boston College took care of business. And then uh, NC State, despite losing Carmelo Cannon, still getting a win. All right, well, how is Virginia going to respond? They took the... They took the kick hoping to not let Georgia Tech um, dictate the pace of this game, and that just didn't work. So how are they going to respond here? They had three plays from inches, I believe it was three, and did nothing. So they handed off here. Matthews turned something out of nothing, but he stood up there by McIntyre. Georgia Tech has a McIntyre on both sides. They're starting middle linebacker and their uh, slot receiver, if we even see him. Second and nine. Rodriguez drops back. He is going to take off this time. He breaks one, and he gets a first down out of that. That was looking risky, but he does have really good acceleration, really good agility, despite only having 83 speed, so he can find a lot of wiggle room when he needs it. Hands that off to Matthews. He cuts outside and made that defender look stupid. Jonathan Matthews does have some sneaky good um, abilities as a 72. All right, second and four. Both teams moving it here. And Rodriguez, he does try to escape. He falls forward, and he's going to be sacked, and they're going to credit Chandler Jones, the Bear Cave reward player, with the sack there. I think you got to credit the left tackle with that one. Third down, third and four. Can they keep this drive going? I have no idea why he's wearing number 98. I don't know if that's real life or not. And, oh, a beautiful throw, J.J. Irons. But, yeah, no, that's the game. I've never touched a Virginia quarterback. Hands it off, Matthews. And nothing doing there on the outside. Alfonso Sampson there, the uh, SFA player on the tackle. The slot corner. Making a play in the backfield. You love to see it. Second and 12 now. Man in motion. They do hand it off to him. And that's blown up in the backfield. Not sure who pushed through there. Josh Robinson got massive push and just broke that play up. Third and 16 now. Virginia's going to have to throw it. And they bring a blitz. It's picked up. He delivers over the middle, but that's going to be very, very short. David Fields for seven. He caught the game-winning touchdown last week. His time expired. And they will not go for it here. They will be punting it right back to Georgia Tech, who had a flawless opening drive. Not one bad play. 
But we are going to get a decent coffin corner, potentially. Did that go out of the back of the end zone? It did. So comes back out to the 20. Coming out in the obvious triple option formation here. It's a throw. He dumps that off to the running back, and he has a ton of room. Virginia, oh, a broken tackle. It doesn't even look like this defense practiced defending them this this week. There's been zero effort from this defense at any stage. We're now at the 50. Hands this one up to Lesser, and by far his worst carry of the day goes for five. Second and five, man in motion, and another quick rush, and there's the defender. They give him the sack. Bryce Carter. The Sackaliers show up there. Not going to let Marcus Schroeder or Marco Schroeder do that uh, quick run again. Third and six now. Can Virginia show up and get off the field? A little pistol formation here. Marco dumps that off and a big stop for the defense. Stands Dante Lesser up. Uh, there were four. And we are getting a punt now. This one's going right out. And that's inside the 10. So we are having an elite punt battle going back and forth right now. Yeah, I like the, I like the uh, improvement with the punts. But remember last year we had like a lot of missed field goals? I didn't even move that. And we haven't like had any. This season, so it's just a weird little thing, I guess. Rodriguez over the middle. All right, they get out of their own end zone. Brad Harrison, the tight end. We've had some decent attempts on both sides, I guess. And off, no, he's going to throw it, and he laces that one as he's hit by McIntyre, but J.J. Irons holds on. Already three catches, easily the top target early on for Jacob Rodriguez. Pretty balanced play calling, but not much movement down the field. Quick option time, and why, why do that against Georgia Tech? You're just asking to get smoked. You're just asking to get clowned on Twitter. You're just asking to get fired. Moon in shambles right now. Not sure what that was. Second and 13. First quarter coming to an end. Fakes the handoff. Blitz. Wide open man. J.J. Irons. First down, Virginia. All right, we are now over the 50-yard line. This is when Virginia shuts down <laughs> and plays terrible. Hands it off. Matthews reverses his field. He's trying to break away, and he just gets clowned by about six defenders. As that goes for a loss. Dante Bruton, the safety. Collapsing down. He needed the, the help from the other Yellow Jackets, but they got there. So a pretty eventful first quarter here in Atlanta. Um, Georgia Tech has been by far the more dominant team. But Virginia is still in this, and they have the ball. That's all you can ask for. Second quarter now, we flip the field. They do hand it off again. Actually, a lot of room now for Matthews. He's pushing. That's a modest gain back 
to uh, six yards, back to a six yard to uh, first down line. Having a seizure over here. Pistol, Rodriguez, third down. He steps up, fires a bullet, and that's caught. J.J. Irons is just working on this corner, kind of owning him right now. Five receptions already. He got the toes in. And not sure what the defender's doing down here. Uh, is he offsides? No, they don't call him offsides, but Rodriguez, he keeps it. He stiffies a man. He finds the outside, and he goes out of bounds. A nice little run there from the quarterback. He stiffies the defender, and then he gets smoked as he heads out of bounds by McIntyre. Threatening the red zone, though. Yes, sir, D-Sleep, we love a good stiffy. Hands it off. That's going nowhere. Jonathan Matthews just completely shits himself in the red zone. Reggie Givens, the right outside linebacker. SFA players all over this field. A lot of them freshmen, so Georgia Tech is probably going to be a force to be reckoned with in a couple years. Rodriguez now, third and four. And that's caught. No, he dropped it. Irons hit as he caught it, and they're going for it. No field goal unit on the field. Coming out in the pistol, fourth and four. Didn't work in inches earlier. Is it going to work again? He rolls out. He yams it deep. David Fields with another clutch reception. He gets the toe in bounds just like last week. Virginia is still in business. First and goal at the one and a half. Hand off the middle, and that is blown up. Chandler Jones on the tackle. Virginia just has such a hard time getting into the end zone on game day. Hands it off once again. Matthews. Can he find it? No, he gets stuffed again. Third and goal for the Cavaliers. Three tight ends on the field. Matthews a third time. Touchdown, Virginia. They draw even here in the second quarter. Yes, use your uh, use your emojis if you got them. You love to see them. Cincinnati, big game for Chad Barber. He's not gonna let Temple ruin the the full circle moment. Also, uh, Moon, I just saw your DM about um, jerseys, but uh, couldn't do white. Mike gets priority as the home team, so had to go uh, full as we get DJ St. Julian here. SFA player, a wide receiver, unfortunately, going to Georgia Tech. But he has had an all right career. And here we go, right back with the triple option. After that first drive, it seemed like this game was over. Lesser's popping off, though. I think Georgia Tech might have found his new uh, starting uh, fullback here, averaging 13 yards a carry. But this game is neck and neck. And that's my play of the game, and they couldn't bring him down. He still gets two, but that was my uh, key to the game. The defensive end, can he stop the pitch from happening? If he can stop that pitch, you're in business. Second and eight. They're crowding the middle there as they hand it off, and he gets smoked. Dante Lesser, his first negative rush, and that's SFA player. Seven Cloud, the transfer from Old Miss. Blew up that play. Third and ten now. You're going to force Georgia Tech to likely throw this one. Yep, they're throwing it, and they blitz. 
And it's almost picked. Tipped around, but it's fourth down. Virginia gets off the field. What a great drive from that defense. The first time all game that Virginia's defense has looked pretty competent. As we get a return opportunity now. And he's brought down at the 30, Jonas Sanker. First and 10 now. Matthews reverses his field. He finds some room and he falls forward for nine. Love a night game here at Georgia Tech. This is fun. No, I think I've only been here for day games. Second and one. We got quick option now. Once again, doesn't work. Like, I don't know what you're expecting there, Virginia. David Godfrey just living in your backfield. Dude just got suplexed and rolled up on. Third and five. They are 50% on third down. Not too shabby here in the first half. Rodriguez dumps it off. Is he going to turn? No, David Fields is short. Are they going to punt? Yes, they are. Honestly, a decent uh, fake punt opportunity. Will we see it? No, we will not. So they're punting it here. He fields it at the 20. And go down at the 30. DJ St. Julian. Seven seven here in the second quarter. We've got a defensive battle, it seems, on our hands. As they just toss this one out to the uh to the running back there, Kenneth Williams for three. That's his first carry on the day. He had a big uh catching run though earlier. Second and seven. Some quick option in that time. Schroeder finds some room, and it's going to be a first down. Marco Schroeder is very quick, so he can just slip through that quick hole before the uh, end can even make a decision. They're going to throw it here on first down. The blitz incoming, and he's sacked. Marco Schroeder brought down, and who else? Bryce Carter. One of the top sack getters in the country. The Sackaliers show up once again. Second and 17 now. And more quick off. She does get the pitch off that time. And he get a lot back. Kenneth Williams gets 10. So a manageable third and seven now. Can they keep this drive alive? They've yet to convert on third down. Schroeder dumps that off. John McIntyre catches it there, but he's going to be short. Ben Fountain was in. Hold up. Did we have an injury? Yeah, bruised hand for Marco Schroeder. But he will return soon, so it doesn't look too serious. But that was definitely something to keep an eye on. Oh, my God. Jonas Sanker just got destroyed. What is happening here in the second quarter? All right, and more option not going his way. Virginia in shambles. All right, they are coming out. Uh, spreading them out here inside their own territory. A little over two minutes left in the half. Rodriguez does drop back. He delivers one. Breaks a tackle and gets about seven. Gary Jackson. Third and five. And Virginia put something together now. This is a very uh, 
even bear or an even game day so far. And they're running out the clock here, so they don't want to give Georgia Tech any reason or any ability, I guess, to do anything if they don't get this here. It's going to be a screen pass. Caught and stopped short. It's going to be a four-yard loss, and here comes the timeouts from Coach Mike. He wants the ball back. Going to have a great opportunity at a return here. DJ St. Julian, and he's brought down after seven. Only 7-7, seven, seven, but it's been very uh, pretty exciting here. I only have two highlights, though. Not much else is happening. And Ben Fountain is still in on this drive, so that is a key to watch here as this uh, half is coming to a close. We likely will not see Schroeder until, uh, until after halftime. He has a bruised hand. It said he will return soon, though. But they are going to still throw it with Ben Fountain, the backup. I guess they trust him here as he delivers it to the back, and he goes down. Dante Lesser for 20, but Georgia Tech now threatening. A minute left. They still have a timeout. Both these teams very neck and neck in this first half. Schroeder's back in. So he's not going to wait till the half. And he throws it deep. First play. Leo Blackburn brings it in. The number one receiver. His first appearance today. What a catch. Also, I'm not sure if my chat broke. Because I don't see anything. Oh, there you go. Dogwater fixing my chat. Thank you. All right, 55 seconds inside the 10. Hands it off. No, he's brought down. Schroeder again. Kevin Henry. They're saying the ref screwed him there as it's complete to DJ St. Julian. But Virginia shutting them down here as we get close to the end zone. They got to hurry it up now, third and eight. And he throws that to the back of the end zone. Touchdown, Georgia Tech. A beautiful throw from Marco Schroeder. And Georgia Tech takes the lead. Wait, they're reviewing it. We just had a sketchy call a few plays earlier. Does he get the foot in? Oh, it looks like it's in. It's going to be a question of if it hit that white line. And it stands. Touchdown, Georgia Tech before the half. So Schroeder, who is hurt, comes in and throws two masterful touch passes, moves them right down the field and scores. All right, Virginia now on their back foot. As this half is ending, they don't get the ball back, so kind of a tough spot. You have three timeouts. You might want to throw a, a few deep balls here, just see what could happen. 22 seconds left. Rodriguez is going to throw it to the outside, and that's not for much, but they keep the timeouts. It might be because they hurried up, Dogwater, if it wasn't close. I don't know. I wasn't watching that specific, like, the feet. Matthews now carries to the outside. He cuts inside. He has room. Oh, and he trips over his lineman. Matthews could have still been running. A lot of guys getting tripped up with their own men. Hands it off. And timeout incoming. So still two plays here for Virginia. They could still get into uh, Hail Mary range. Second and 11. Rodriguez 
Dumps that off. Oh my god. Kevin McIntyre almost had a pick six to end the half. Third and 11. Are they just going to throw up the Hail Mary now? Rodriguez. Dumps that off. Is there going to be time? Yes, there is. First down. Two seconds left. Here comes the chance at the end zone. A Hail Mary halftime. Rodriguez trips right. He has some time. No, he's brought down. There's the sack. Dictator takes us to halftime. And it's 14-7 here. And boy, oh boy, do we have a halftime show for you. SFA Sicko Center, or Sector, we want you to know we like to stir the pot in the SFA. If you can't handle it, well, tough shit. And then I also want to hype up the SFA transfer portal coming. Um, Mango, if you're watching this, no, I'm not stealing Arlo's transfer portal. I just used the, the base graphic. But Cody Green, quarterback, Stanky Leg, running back, and Chuck Valverde have already announced there's a lot more to come. Uh, so who is going to get some studs? Who's going to build a championship team through the transfer portal? Uh, who knows? And then obviously it's Cinco de Mayo. Thank your nearest Latina for Latina juice. Um, get yourself a burrito, drink a margarita, have some fun. Um, oh yeah, Otto Tidwell also announced it. But as we head back to the game here, very even match. Um, obviously a late touchdown for Georgia Tech. It's been very even, but Virginia surprisingly has completely controlled the clock. Georgia Tech, despite running it pretty much on, you know, uh, running it, they haven't really uh, done much because they're big plays. We got controversy on that last drive, it seems, from the chat. A lot of you guys think, or some of you guys think that that Leo Blackburn catch should have been reviewed. Definitely got the weird animation. But as we kick off the second half, Georgia Tech has the lead and the ball. DJ St. Julian, he gets up to the 20. Um, A lot of weird tackles today on Bear Cave and this game. Like a lot of animations not happening, a lot of weird plays. So we might see some funkiness here at the end of the game. They go back. No, they're going to throw it. First play of the game, he's jamming it deep. A wide open man. Virginia never saw it coming. Is Nick Greenwood big play out of the half. Coach Mike in his bag to start the half here. Marco Schroeder went off with a bruised hand, and he comes out firing. Oh, boy, and that time the option did not work. Second and nine. And fakes the handoff. Oh, no, he doesn't get sacked. He's brought down, though, behind the line. Busted play there. Virginia was ready for it. Bryce Carter is a menace out of that uh, line spot. Third and long now for Georgia Tech after the big play. Can Virginia once again get off the field? They are throwing it. He dumps that off the middle. Can they stop him? Yes, they do. Fourth and one. Are they going to go for it, though? Yes, they are. Georgia Tech stays on the field. Getting aggressive here for Coach Mike. What's the call? They hand it off. No, Schroeder keeps it. He dumps it off, and he barely gets it. Patented triple option play worked to perfection. First and 10 for Georgia Tech. They do a toss play, and that just gets smoked, blown up by the defender, Hood. Eric Hood, his second tackle for loss. Schroeder under center. 
Man in motion. He gets smoked again. Bryce Carter. Three sacks. That time he was looking to cause a brain injury. Oh, my Lord. He did the shack move where he rubbed his dick in his face on the way down. Oof. Third and 14, one for five. They are gonna throw it again, and he's sacked again! Bryce Carter already his fourth sack on the game. Bryce Carter is now threatening Brian Breesey's sack record at seven. Fourth and 21. Yep, the punt team coming out a little too far. As the offensive line just completely pooped themselves on that drive. Get the punt off. And this one goes into the end zone. Damn, Dogwater's down bad. He's fishing for a body weight roughing the passer in the era where CTE was encouraged. Quick option time. We got a broken tackle. He tried to flip it. Thank God he didn't. That could have been disastrous. Reggie Givens, his fourth tackle for loss. I don't know why they continue to run the option here. It has not worked once. Second 11, they fake the handoff. Rodriguez over the middle. He finds his man. He somehow hangs on, and that's a first down. Joshua Wilson, wide receiver one, coming through. First and ten, they do a handoff. There was a uh, blitz there. Jonathan Matthews for three. Not having too bad of a game. You'd like him to break off a few more runs here, but doing his job right now. But Virginia needs to start scoring a little bit more. Seven points is not going to cut it halfway through the third. Dumps that one, and that's going to be a first down. Gary Jackson stretches. Virginia now putting together a nice little drive here as they threaten midfield. Handoff. Finds some blockers. He reverses his field. Gets four. Three wide receivers to the left. Pistol. Second and six. A nice pocket here. He dumps that off. He stays in bounds. David Fields, but they are two yards short. Yeah, Virginia's issue on game day all season long has been not being able to do anything once they pass the 50. Here they are, third and two. Hand off up the middle. Jonathan Matthews, big hole. Easy first down. Fresh set of downs for the Cavaliers. Pretty much exact in the total yards. But can Virginia draw even on the scoreboard? Hands it off. And he tried to run over that man, but he brought him down. Second and nine. Fields gets the jet sweep there. A little Moss three. It's going to be a third and medium now a little over 12 minutes left here in SFA game day big third and six incoming and blitz coming it's picked up and Rodriguez he tries to take off he only gets a yard dictator traps him down fourth and five and they are going for it they are one for two so far today this is a massive one. You're not going to get too many more chances to tie this game up. Rodriguez, the blitz, picks it up. Wide open man, J.J. Irons, a big conversion, 18 yards. Shout out to the offensive line there. Picked up that crazy blitz as Nickel Boone just got smoked one-on-one. -on -one. Nice. 
inside the red zone now. Hands it off. Matthews, he tries to get back to the line. If you didn't know better, you'd think Virginia is trying to stay out of the end zone. Hands it off. Find some hole. Say what you want about the, you know, the 72 overall running back or whatnot, but Matthews, I it's not very often I see a running back change his direction so much and actually find some good holes. Like he's a unique running back. Like he runs a lot different than most. As oh my god, Rodriguez misses him over the middle. What is the call now? Are they gonna go for it again? No, they're bringing out the field goal unit, trying to bring this within four. Daly on the hold. The kick is up, and it's good. All right. Virginia pulls within four. They still need a touchdown. Plenty of time left, still about 11 minutes here. But you definitely think that Georgia Tech's going to start running out that clock as DJ St. Julian can't even get back to the 20. I'm actually kind of shocked to see where we are at this stage of the game and to see how Georgia Tech's been playing. Like It feels like they've been dominating on offense, but they only have 14 points. As they defend it that well. And they have under 100 rushing yards. This is crazy. Lesser for six, but it's still third down. Lesser got used like a shitload in the first two drives, and then he's kind of done nothing. Can Georgia Tech get a conversion? Third and inches. They toss it out wide. There's your chance, and he runs right past him. I guess everybody thought he was going up the middle, and they toss it out wide. No one could penetrate in massive hole for Williams. Fresh set of downs for Tech. And quick option, he thought it was the toss, and Marco gets a free first down. That defensive end thought he had a, uh, a, a scoop and score, or like a pick off of the fumble or whatever. Triple option incoming. Fakes it, and he brought down, no, he breaks the tackle and somehow turns that into eight. Marco Schroeder putting on a clinic right now. Ever since the injury, he's looked like a different man. They've only ran 37 plays. Toss out wide. Can they get him out this time? Fresh set of downs for Georgia Tech. Doesn't look like Joe Webb is getting that starting job anytime soon. <laughs> Last play of the quarter, as it seems. Another toss out wide. This time, Virginia's ready for it. And as we head to the fourth quarter, Georgia has a four-point lead at home. Throw the fours up. Can Georgia Tech get bowl eligible and control their own destiny, really, in the Coastal? They're at the 30, still a ways from field goal range. We've yet to see a turnover today. Schroeder, he's throwing that deep and out of bounds. They came with the cover zero blitz, and Schroeder just threw that away. Third and long now. Looks like a pure run pass. No, they're going to throw it. Faking out everybody. Wide open man on the left side. He has room inside the five. Greenwood. No one covering him. What a massive mistake, and we got a third, a first and goal now. 
Hands it off. No. Schroeder keeps it. Touchdown, Georgia Tech. They take a two-score lead here in the fourth quarter. I got to say, from a highlights perspective, this has been a very boring game, but just watching the triple option in action has been quite exciting. But I only have one, two, three, four, five highlights to put in my uh, highlight video right now. <laughs> All right, can Virginia respond now? Down two scores, you really have no room for air. You've got to score now, you got to score fast. I mean, neither team. And that is incomplete. He couldn't hang on. Jacob Rodriguez putting his men at risk, giving him the Levantes perfect treatment. Third and four. Rodriguez. And they convert. He finds the tight end now, Brad Harrison. Might want to recommend starting to run some hurry up. Jacob Rodriguez not really having that bad of a day through the air. It's just, you know, no scores. And off the middle. Matthews finds some room. Second and four. Hand off to Matthews. Strong side. Find some room. Or weak side. I don't know what I'm saying. The Cavaliers loving it. Down 11. Time is ticking away, but they are threatening. All right, the run game's starting to open up a little bit more. Matthews finds some room. He fakes out the defender. Had him uh, broke it, broke Alfonso Sampson's ankles, but they still get the tackle. See what I'm saying? Jonathan Matthews, you see no other running back make as crazy of moves as him. I don't know what in his ratings are causing that. That's interesting. And they bring a blitz, and they get the first down and more. Joshua Wilson shot out of a cannon on that drag route. And a quick QB power. Rodriguez falls forward for seven. Clock is ticking, but Virginia is showing life. This game may start heating up now. Kevin McIntyre with 12. We're inside the red zone. Hands it off. And that goes nowhere. Oh, boy. Nickel Boone on the tackle. The starting corner. Third and three. Obviously two down territory. Two tight ends to the right side. Now we're throwing it. He's taken off. A lot of room and he's barely tripped up. Rodriguez had a ton of room there. Fresh set of downs. We're inside the 15 and we're inside six minutes. We're exactly even on yards. But Georgia Tech has a two score lead. First and ten. Rodriguez hands it off. No, he fakes it. Rodriguez, he has time. He takes off. Can he do something? He slides. Second and four. Clock is ticking as we cross the five-minute mark here in week 12 game day. Virginia has to score here. They hand it off up the middle. Jonathan Matthews, touchdown, Virginia! 
He finally breaks through a big hole up the middle and he stretched it across. Bruton couldn't beat him. And they're going for two to try to pull within a field goal. Shotgun. They're going to hand it off again. Matthews up the middle and he gets it. Virginia within three. We've got a ball game here, boys and girls, as he takes it out of the end zone. DJ St. Julian up to the 21. Under five minutes left. The four-minute offense obviously coming out. Georgia Tech could realistically run this, uh, run this clock out. Nice stop there from the defensive end. Gabriel Crooks hasn't done much. It's been all... Uh, Bryce Carter on the other side. Second and 12 now. And Schroeder, he throws that away as that pocket collapsed. That was dangerous. That could have been another sack. Third and 12. Third and long. They're only three for eight on third downs. Virginia has some momentum. Can they get the ball back? They are throwing it. Schroeder over the middle, and Leo Blackburn can't get the first. Virginia's going to get the ball back. So in the span of about 30 seconds, Virginia went from 11-point lead to having a 3-point lead and on defense. Life comes at you fast as the punt team is out. Virginia Tech setting up, or Virginia setting up a return. Sorry I said Tech. <laughs> My bad. <laughs> Yoda Sanker, 13 yards. Thank God that wasn't a touchdown. Otherwise, I would have been absolutely roasted for eternity. First and 10 for Virginia. Quick option just uh, stunts all the... As soon as you see the play call against this defense, like Godfrey is just cooking him. He is elite. They are elite at stopping that shit. And on the run, and Joshua Wilson. Dante Bruton, five tackles, one TFL. Third and four. Over the middle and a big catch by David Fields. Virginia's cooking now and uh, Rodriguez is starting to fire at JJ Irons again. He's kind of giving uh, Nickel Boone the business, honestly. Second and one, threatening inside the 30. All they need is a field goal to tie it. They hand it up the middle. Jonathan Matthews, he finds some room. 10-yard gain. And the crowd, the home crowd is silent. Watching an 11-point lead vanish in front of their eyes. First and 10 for Virginia. Hand it off to Matthews again. Four yards. As we're about to cross two minutes. Two minutes left in week 12. Second and six. They hand it off again. Matthews, he breaks a tackle. He falls forward three yards. Third and two. Georgia Tech desperately trying to get off the field and force a field goal. They're inside the 10. This is field goal range. All the momentum with Virginia. Third and two. They hand it off to Matthews. He finds some room, and he pushes home. Touchdown, Virginia! They erase an 11-point lead and are stunning the GT faithful. He stiffies him, and Dante Bruton couldn't do it. Oh. 
Oh my god, how the turntables, turntables, <laughs> whatever. A minute 28 left. Less than three minutes ago, Georgia Tech had an 11-point lead. And now they're down by four. Life comes at you fast. Virginia completely taking over this fourth quarter. And Georgia Tech now... Oh, man, Georgia Tech. And off, and er, a throw. Three timeouts left. A full minute remaining. Sure, you got to run some hurry up, but still plenty of time. Marco Schroeder has been very good through the air. Over the middle, DJ St. Julian. They're not going to give him the first down. Clock is running. You got to hurry it up now. DJ St. Julian, the SFA player, didn't have the wherewithal to get across that uh, first down. Clock is running. Third and inches. They're switching the play here. They took a timeout to talk about it. Wide open man, Leo Blackburn, he breaks a tackle. Leo Blackburn in his early days was the slot back, but he's moved out to wide receiver. 54 seconds left on their own, 43. Split back set for Georgia Tech. Schroeder dumps that off, and that was scary. Kenneth Williams, that could have been a pick. One timeout left, 51 seconds. They're going to throw it over the middle, and a beautiful throw. He fits that into the five-star John McIntyre. Hangs on. Inside the 40. Clock is running. We got a game. They hurry it up. Split backs now. Schroeder's jamming it. And oh, they get lucky. Damon Clark dropped the pick. This game coming down to the wire like Virginia versus Syracuse. Will it be heartbreak again for Virginia? And he's sacked! The Sackleers come through! And the clock is running! It's third and 17! Tick, tick, tick! Schroeder, he just dumps it off! Clock is ticking! Dante Lesser! Oh my god, the game's about to end! They have to have a first down here! One timeout remaining, two plays left in this game, Schroeder. Over the middle, Leo Blackburn is short, and Virginia is going to win the football game. Mike takes his final timeout to talk about it and how his team completely collapsed here on game day. And as we hit triple zeros, Virginia shocks the world, shocks Atlanta as they complete an 11-point comeback inside of five minutes. Georgia Tech is stunned. Jonathan Matthews put the team on his back. What a game. And one of the craziest late-game collapses we've ever seen on a game day. 25-21, Virginia. Holy shit. <laughs> Mike. Oh, my God. What a game. You have the sack, then the last play. In the span of less than five minutes... Virginia, you had a touchdown, three and out, then a touchdown, and then a game-winning drive. Oh, my God. You went 0 for 10 on Bear Cave, not even any uh, freebie points? Let's take a look at the stats. Lesser with that beautiful run to start it out. Schroeder, and then Matthews, obviously. Oh, my God. 
ridiculousness. And look at that scoring summary, 15 in the fourth. Heartbreak for Georgia Tech. What a game from both teams. One of the more entertaining games of the season for sure. McIntyre, look at all these tackles for loss. Like, Georgia Tech was just killing them in the run game for most of the game. And then you got Virginia here. Rodriguez, no TDs thrown. Jonathan Matthews got three of them. Irons was cooking Nickel Boone. On defense, obviously Bryce Carter was cooking as well. He had four sacks. A sack for Gabriel Cooks, the big one at the end to secure the game. The Sackleers do it. Or just going with overall isn't the best. Like the fact like going with the teams that are playing the best in the season is probably better than just going with the higher overall team. Like there's a reason this low rated Virginia Tech team is eight and two now. What a win. Some will say that was luck. Others will say it was skill. I'm just gonna choose to enjoy it. <laughs> <laughs> that was crazy. What a game from both coaches. Can't ask for a better game day. Like, he had a little bit of everything. The only thing we're missing is some turnovers, but... All right. Before we end the game, I just want to make sure... Yep, everything is simmed. So, as always, game day is over. I'm going to post the uh, game results from Bear Cave and game day. I'm going to post... Uh, updated standings and then we're gonna do committee meeting and then i'm gonna do recruits so all that coming up next thank you guys all for watching as always really appreciate it see ya